What is up guys? We are coming to a close of 2021. And what do you think? How'd we do? It was kind of a disaster still, still with COVID, but I would say, you know, ups and downs. The real question is, what should a single lesbian be looking forward to in 2022? You may be like me, watching this video, single, really hoping to go on more dates or be in a relationship with another girl. Not really sure where to begin. Well, today I'm gonna be talking about what you should be looking forward to in 2022. Hi, my name is Lisa and I make YouTube videos about LGBT dating and also my dating journey. While there's such an emphasis on dating and being in a relationship with somebody, and I know being lonely, that feeling of loneliness really comes creeping up on you. But really the focus shouldn't be on this unknown person, this future person that will enter in your life. It really starts with you, your own self. And this is what I want you to focus on and looking forward to this coming year. I like to break my life down into like four different categories, just to keep it simple. Four different categories where you can improve on. I think it's so important to focus on yourself, improving on yourself, so that way you are yourself happy with who you are before you can step into a relationship. And besides, if you're somebody who isn't in a good spot in their life, that can make it really difficult for you to go out and find dates because if you're not happy with who you are, where you are in your life, in all four of these categories, the other person may not find you compatible or wanting to date you. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first category I want to introduce is health. And this, I believe, is the most important category and what you should be focusing on. Why? Health is so important because if you are feeling sick, you're ill, you can't get up in the morning, that's gonna stop you right there. So what are some examples of focusing on your health? What does that look like? The most common way of approaching good health and a lot of people think about it is working out. That's one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of it is also eating right. So exercise and eating right can get you into shape and looking good yourself. Your physical look to yourself, looking good, can build your self-confidence. And another important thing that I like to focus on is skincare. I think skincare is also very important. A lot of people may neglect it. Me as a person who's living in Florida where there's a lot of sun, I think skincare is really important and just that there's a higher risk of skin cancer here. Not only does it help with the prevention of skin cancer, but also wrinkling if you use it right. Sunscreen, super important. The second category is finances. Being Asian myself, I like money too. And my parents have kind of rubbed that off of me with that Asian culture because money is a symbol of success. My parents have really taught me the importance of being financially responsible. Plus being broke isn't fun. And I don't think a girl wants to be with somebody who is in a lot of debt. Not saying you have to be making millions, but know how to manage your money. Being able to manage your own money is just part of life, part of being an adult. That sense of responsibility is attractive. So I know a few things or two about money. And here are my tips. One, you can track your spending. What I like to do is use Mint. Mint is a free app and they also have a website. You can sign up for it. These are the guys who made QuickBooks and also T TurboTax. And you can link all your accounts together where you can easily track all of your expenses and transactions all right in one place. And they have nifty graphs to easily show you what's going on in your accounts, your spending, your income, and also tracks your net worth over time. Building your emergency funds. Gotta have that in case there's a rainy day. If you have debt, work on paying off that debt. And finally, one of my big things is investing. Saving that money in an account, investing it, compound interest, all those buzzwords, that'll help you down the road. My third category is personal growth. What does that mean, personal growth? Some examples that fall in that category would be your career. For example, if you're working this assistant manager job and you want to move up the ladder, become a manager, and then become a supervisor, that's also part of growth. Or if you have a business, you wanna work on growing that. There's also your passions. If you're really into volunteering and helping a cause. Also hobbies, if you're really big on cooking, 
baking or playing the ukulele specifically, because I do, that is something you can work on. Besides those things, I like to read or listen to personal development books or eBooks. So one of the things that I've read in the past I've found really helpful is The Slight Edge. There's a lot of other personal development books. I've actually recently gotten a new book. This one I got from My Secret Santa and our Christmas party. And this is The Atomic Habits. This one I will be reading, working through it this coming year. I'll put the links down below in the description box where you can find them and purchase them yourself. Part of the reason why people highly recommend these books is because it really crafts your mindset into being a more productive person, being a better person in ways of, in relationships, um, personal growth and communication, building great habits. Those are some examples. All right, my final category, number four, like I said, keeping it simple. The final one is relationships. I know, I know, we like to talk about relationships and like, oh, dating, which is kind of the premise of my channel, but that's not all sort of relationships. So a relationship could can include your family, your friends, your coworkers, or people at the gym. These people that are in your life hold value. It's not just having a girlfriend that enriches your life. It's all these people together that care about you and you care about them, creating fond memories, and really that brings true happiness. And you can work on that by, you know, spending more time together, hanging out, talking to each other on the phone, texting, sending some funny TikToks. There's multiple, like, there's so many ways to connect with people, but it takes time. Any relationship takes time and effort. Now that I've gone over four of those categories, like I said, it was health, finances, personal development, and finally relationships. How can we put this into action? Let me show you. So... I actually have a whiteboard next to my bed and excuse the mess, I'm currently packing. Here's a quick glance of what I'm working towards in 2022. I have these categories here for you. Like I said, health, finance, personal development, relationships. And this is what I'm gonna work towards. I plan on cutting, I need to lean out. I'm gonna get Invisalign also. Finances, continue to invest and in building my YouTube channel. And this is also a little bit of a side project to try and gain a little bit more revenue. So that's under finances. Personal development, like I said, I'm reading the Atomic Habits, just a current project of mine or just something I'm working on. I would probably say that building my YouTube channel could also probably go under this. And then relationships. Um, I really want to get closer, get to know those people that I go to CrossFit with because I'm pretty new at it. And then finally, go on more dates. I hope you like that. I think you guys should do the same thing. Maybe if you don't have a whiteboard, I mean, granted, they're pretty inexpensive and I made that just by buying a whiteboard from Home Depot or Lowe's and just like getting some sticky things and just taping it to my wall. And I have a lot of writing space right there. But if you don't have a whiteboard, write it down. I think it's so important and so helpful to just sit down and just evaluate. What do you plan on doing? Oh, there's a saying, failing to plan means you're planning to fail. And I don't think you want that. I definitely don't want it for you. Please, after this video, take the time to write down those four categories. What do you want to do in terms of your health, your finances, your personal development, and also your relationships this coming year of 2022? I will go ahead and link any of the resources that I use to help me in those categories and hopefully to help you. I really try to use stuff that are free or inexpensive because, hey, it's it's free, right? <laughs> Who doesn't like free? And it's effective. So I will go ahead and post those down below and also post some of the great books that I've read or used so far. And I wanna share that with you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, if you learned something, please help me out. Smash the like button down below, help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you like more content like this, where I talk about LGBT dating and also my dating journey, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.